<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kiaradice. Okay, this is some trying times we having, okay? It's Rona. Rona is Ronin right now. She is Roman and got people going crazy. So I figured, why don't I just talk to the camera? Because if I don't just do it now, I probably never talk, do it, you know? So it's like, let's just, let's just talk. Let's just have a heart to heart because times are the tough. And I, of course, have this, this is wine. I don't know if you can find this anywhere, but this is some kind of like, um, it's called Bandit. And I only like the Pinot Grigio. Actually, I like all flavors, but like I prefer Pinot Grigio. And um, on the back, it has like two hikers. You're supposed to be able to bring this to picnics and stuff like that. That's like their whole brand. And um, I like it. You know, it's easy to twist off. It's like, keep it simple. That's what it says, keep it simple. Okay, so I'm pouring myself a very big glass of this. I just got off of work. Yes, I am one of the few people who still have to work and go there, okay? And I'm not gonna really go into work because all I have to say is that I have a new job and I'm really liking it. I work at a bank, there we go, I work at a bank, but they don't want me to really like blast it on social media. So if I ever get fired or quit, then I'll do all my story times for that. But for right now, I really like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Rona, I mean, they have us like masked and gloved and I just, I hate it. I mean, I understand it's more sanitary and stuff like that. However, <laughs> it's not easy, but um, everybody's off of work. All the kids home from school. Um, huh. Oh, and I'm eating some Costco tacos. There's no more toilet paper. Even though I told some people today that you can go to the store because I went to the store today because I work right next to a grocery store and all the crazies and maniacs have already bought out all the toilet paper and they're over there hiding in their bunkers somewhere. So we good, okay? Like we good, they stocked back up. I mean like people really went crazy over this coronavirus and I kind of understand the mania but don't at the same time just because like I don't know, maybe because I'm a little bit of a cynic and then I'm also someone who just like genuinely doesn't give a give a damn. But I was just kind of like, it doesn't feel that deep. And not only that, but also, you know, I like lived in China for so long that I have so many friends that are still there. And they're like, yeah, we're all good. It's just that we're stuck in the house. You know what I mean? We're bored. I was like, so y'all ain't starving? Y'all ain't sickly? She's like, no, we, if anything, we got fat. Because all we can do is stick in the house, stay in the house, and eat. And um, so that's been like more than a month. So the mania didn't hit the United States really until like the last couple weeks. But I've been hearing about this through my Chinese comrades for the last like two months. So I've already known that like things have gotten very much, have normalized out there. So I knew not to like really panic, but not everyone has the same like memos that I get. So everyone went crazy, and they bought all the toilet paper, okay? Because I was just kind of like, toilet paper? Not to say like, I get you want to like stock up on toilet paper, but I just want to understand like the real logic behind it. Even some customers, he was, this guy was funny. He was like, I would see if it were like dysentery or something. And I was like, thank you. Like, why are we, you know, like stocking up on toilet paper? I mean, okay paper towels and another thing I'm like so you hear them kids out there whatever oh let me take a bite of my taco I got some tacos from Costco can you believe Costco makes like these deli street taco things I'm like I don't know my mom bought them and one thing we say we, we have is food okay and I donated today to some people in Safeway they were like oh do you want to feed some people five dollars I was like okay yeah, take my five dollars. So I did my good deed. Mm. Anyway, I just have like <laughs> Rona really has to be going crazy. 
And so I was supposed to go to Vegas this weekend, just for a weekend. And I was gonna vlog it and I was gonna call it the ultimate Las Vegas trip weekend, la la da, extravaganza, I don't know. And so I bought my ticket. Oh, well, let me just rant about that. That's what I'm gonna rant about. Trip.com, y'all is dead to me. Any of my subscribers, if you guys have trip, or have used trip, we canceling them. They canceled, okay, because let me just tell you this. So, I bought a ticket. So, <laughs> let me just say this first. My smart black ASS derriere was planning on going to Vegas, not by, not by flight, not walking, so, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna spend two, three hundred dollars to take a flight when I can just take a bus. Even though the bus was like 11 hours, but like I've taken buses before and usually all I do is sleep or watch TV on there anyway. So it doesn't really matter. My plan was to take the bus Saturday night, you know, Friday night, get there Saturday morning, go to my hotel, party with my cousin, party the next day with my cousin, Sunday, and then fly back. Sunday night. So I had bought like, have y'all used Flixbus? I love me some Flixbus, okay? I've taken it like to Sacramento, which is like an hour. And like the the ticket will be like five bucks, five or six dollars, I kid you not. And so for me to go from San Francisco to Vegas was only $25 and I was like, spend 200 on a flight you know because it was like it was like 150 something like that all from trip.com even though I do my sky scanning and stuff like that and I was like okay I'd rather just take the bus and I had my whole plan I was gonna watch the Madam CJ Walker thing on um starring Octavia Spencer on Netflix that whole ride because I think it was about to be 10 episodes and that's 10 hours like I will stay up and watch that okay that was my plan and um, anyway, so Rona came. Rona got everyone crazy. And I was like, okay, can I, should I still go? Should I still go? Because you know me. <laughs> I booked for the flight coming back, which mind you was 275. 275 of Obama's dollars. Can you believe that? $275. Because here was the thing. The weekend that I like, I booked it for happened to be March Madness. I don't even know what that is. Don't ask me. Something to do with like college basketball, college football, one of the two sports. Okay. And like unbeknownst to me, I just booked it. And I was like, all right, cool. So the tickets were higher and all the Airbnbs were taken at that time. This was like a month ago when I had booked it. Fast forward. Oh, and of course, you know, they asked you like, you want to pay an extra $10? to get this thing changeable and or refundable. And I'm like, nah, I'll keep my 10 bucks. <laughs> I ain't changing it. I ain't refunding it because I know I'm going to go on my trip. Here comes Rona. Effing up people's plans and travels and jet setting and whatnot. And I was like, oh my gosh, should I go on this trip or not? Because um, literally everything is closed. So this week I was like, because, you know, maybe things aren't going to be so bad. Yes, they've just, they have just in, uh, increasingly got worse. <laughs> and I was finally like, okay, I need to cancel that flight. So, I go on the app, Trip. And I'm like, let me find that thing. And it was like, non-refundable, sis. <laughs> nah. I'm like, okay. Listen. Hey, 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 hey. So, I call customer service. And they're like, oh, we understand, we understand, yada, yada. Your ticket's non-refundable, blah, blah, blah. However, what we're gonna do, because of the circumstances, MF is, is dying out here, even though I have no idea who died. But so what? We ain't supposed to be flying. We supposed to have our mask. We supposed to be cooped up, period. We not supposed to be March Madness in, okay? March has already been mad. So I'm like, can I refund? And then she says, oh, I just have to escalate it to my, I don't know, override it, whatever. 
send in an extra request. Okay, sis, all you gotta write is, it's Rona. That's it, they probably understand. COVID-19, code 19. Code, code, vid 19. That's all you have to say because that's literally why I'm not going. So she said, okay. I sent in the request, anything else I can do for you. You should be hearing via email about the, the choice, the whatever. And I'm like, cool, perfect. I'll wait for the email. Two days later, they send me an email saying, nah, we ain't giving you your money back. What Rona? You, uh, let me read that. To you. Oh, I can't read it too because I'm, I'm recording on my phone. Whatever. It said something on the lines of we regret blah, 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 blah. We don't care about no Rona. Okay, you didn't click the button. You wanted to keep $10. Now look. That's basically the email they sent me. Like, now look. You still, we still got you booked. So I told my girl, I have a, a coworker who, man, she would get my life. So not only did she tell me a couple days before this cancelization narration about our job perks at work. I was like, why perks at work? All the discounts? I pay two hundred some dollars for a flight to, from Vegas to San Francisco one way, and y'all can give me a thirty dollar one way. So sixty dollars? Oh, who perks at work? I heard you. Next time I know. And so she's the one who told me that a couple of weeks ago, and I said, okay, well I'm gonna take the L on this one because I already bought it, so I'm not refundable. Da, da, da. Fast forward to me wanting to get my refund. Um, and then sending me that email. And then I was like, no, then she told me, I told her today, right? This is during lunch. We had lunch together. And she was like, girl, they did, they, no, no, they didn't. You know what she can do? Call your bank and dispute the transaction. I said, oh. She said, yep, dispute it. And I was like, the, 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 what? Okay. So I, you know, got on my app and they had me call customer service. And I'm like, okay, so what time did you make the deal? When did you do Due to the, due to the Rona, since we got you, we have refunded you $275 for this transaction. And we're going to do a um, research, right? So maybe they might take the $275 back. However, what are they going to research that I didn't take the flight? And they're going to research that sea trip or trip was trifling. That's what they're going to find. That's what I think. So within 90 days, I will be able to know whether I can keep the $275 or not, which I'm hoping I do. But one way or another, dispute them translate. Okay, trip, delete, never use y'all again. Y'all try it. You can't do people like that. Mm -mm. You lost a very valuable customer, okay? And I have this whole big following. I'm going to have us all just delete the app. Hashtag deletetrip.com. We'll spell dot D-O-T. We'll, we'll spell it out. Deletetrip.com. Hashtag cancel. Hashtag Rona. Don't play that. How about that? Rona. Hashtag trip.com. Rona don't play that. Because they tried me. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to Vegas. But now I know to do my perks at work. I know that much. Okay, so. Rona, who are you talking to? Ooh, Costco tacos are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So that's how I'm feeling today. I got to dispute that transaction. Get my money back. My my bank rolled up on them trip.com and was like, you better give her her money back. Cause you know damn well she can't go on that trip because Rona done roamed the world okay so we'll see anyway okay i'm rant over if you guys like videos like this of me just ranting and talking about stuff that happens in my life i don't mind doing this after work rona thoughts i mean i can't really talk about work maybe i can i can think of a way how to do it but if you guys like this you know let me know give me a comment well how y'all doing during the rona how is your um, what are they call what are they calling it? Lockdown, lockup, Lo life after lockup, love after. Watch love after lockup if you're bored and at home, okay? Because that that show is funny. Okay, so that's it. Cause um yeah, love y'all. Leave me a comment and like and subscribe. Okay, great. Bye.